you're in so much pain and you've seen people be in so much pain and the pain that we, we got to talk about today is ads. Mm-hmm. Listen, I'm not against ads. You're not against ads, but we live in a pandemic world now where people are like done. They're done with all the cheesy stuff. They're done with all the, you know, blah, blah, blah. And ads, let's face it. You put all your money on a platform and they're like, nope, we're not approving your ad. Mm-hmm. And, you, and, and you say, well, let me talk to you. Nope, file an appeal. I mean, my company has built their brand around ads and then certain ad platforms just said, you're done. And I felt that pain and luckily we could pivot and we're smart enough and God's awesome to help us find solutions. But there's a lot of companies that would have turned in and folded. And then I along comes you and I say, oh my gosh, you can build an entire six, seven, eight figure brand around no ads and no risk, but just simply taking action. And you're right. I said, I'm booking my flight to Miami and I'm bringing my whole team. And, yeah. and then and then we now only did it. And Josh, man, just that little notification you just heard yeah. was just a sale. It was just a sale. <laughs> He's, you just put it all caps score you know like it's it works man and so yeah let's talk about ips for sure and um so I, i'd love to keep talking uh about that and also what i realized too because when people ask me i try to remember what it was like like in the beginning when i started authors unite and it, you know it, it's hard to like think back exactly what it was like is now with all of the testimonials, it's obviously easier for me now to sell things. And, and like you said, it's interesting. Like I, when I don't ever view myself as like good at sales, I yeah. simply just get on the call and I just ask the, the potential client. I'm like, what are you trying to achieve? They tell me. And then if I believe that I can help them get there, then I will let them know what our service, like that's really all it is. Yeah. And, you know, so, and I, look, I'm sure there's but, great sales. But, but most people aren't like that, Tyler. Yeah. Yeah. Well, most, most, most people, I'm telling you, most people got their script and they're, and they're like this. They're like, hi, Tyler. How are you today? I know. <laughs> 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 and I, so in the beginning, I remember like trying scripts when I was younger because I, you know, I didn't know. And I was just like, I'm going to try. And like, I, I just, it felt like I couldn't be the real me with a script. Yeah. So I just completely, I think I gave that like a month or two. And then I was just like, I honestly don't know if this is working or not working, but like internally, and this is not to say, look, if you use a script, I'm not saying it's necessarily a bad thing, but it It wasn't you. Yeah. Me and you are just more off the cuff type of people. Yes. Yes. but one of the biggest things that I realized is in the beginning, before you have testimonials, trust, like you had mentioned, is really one of the biggest things. So how do you get around that? Well, IPS is actually the solution to that because you get around it by building these partnerships and then you don't really need the testimonials because you yes. already have like a trusted source referring you the person, which is yes. pretty much the same thing almost. So. Um, yeah, when I when I when I saw IPS and for all the people who don't know, Infinite Partnership System and dot com. But when I saw your your model, I said, this is no wonder why it works, because everyone else is chasing the client, as in like you get them, I get them too on LinkedIn. They 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 friend you, they and then the next day. Hey, can we grab my call and can I walk you through blah, blah, blah. Infinite partnerships, infinite partnership system. You don't go after the client. You actually serve someone who's in your industry. And by serving them, they're like, here's all my leads. (laughs) And, and you have so many leads now. So it is, it changes the whole game. And that's why I said, I'm going to change my life. When I, when, when I saw IPS, I literally did. I said, this is going to change everything. Not only for us, but I said, this can change everything for every business out there. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, it really, it's, it's interesting for me. I was talk I was actually talking with Colin recently about this and like the concept of IPS, sometimes things are like so big that like, you can't really fathom how big they are. And like, that's what I feel like this is just to be completely real with the audience. Like I just like, I do believe it could change the way that businesses do business. Like, oh yeah, like very dramatically. Because the other thing about paid advertising, and again, it has worked for for some people. We've we've all seen this, but what I don't like about it is you can't see the back end of what's actually happening, right? So it's kind of like it kind of feels like the lottery a little bit, but with with better odds, right? So it's like you oh. you're targeting, but you still. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I, I have to walk people through my panic and anxiety. Okay. <laughs> so, so I would literally say to a certain platform, I'm not going to name it, but a certain ad platform in our heyday, I would say, here's $50,000. And this is true. Like we were running $50,000 a month on ads. And, uh, and here's the crazy thing. I didn't know a if people would show up. I didn't know if, and, and 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 the ads would go to a webinar. Okay? So the ads would go to a webinar that they would sign up to hear me talk about why publishing is uh why our models better. And then after the talk, they would then apply. Then we would have to interview them to see if they were a brand match. Then they would have to get the buy link. Like you look at all the tech and time Literally, that was my entire business model. See mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That was my entire business model. But here's what didn't happen, Tal. One time I got strep throat. I already put 50K in the month. And now the webinar, and, and, and I couldn't speak. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then another time, the internet went out. Like, that's 50K, dude, that's sitting there. And now your webinar is toast. Mm -hmm. These are the types of panic and anxiety that I would feel. And then along comes IPS and I'm like, there's no upfront ads. This is ridiculous. This is unbelievable. Yeah, and there's no panic because because the other things too, and I think um, you said with some ad platforms or we know some people this has happened to where your ads can get denied or, or whatever. Oh my gosh. Right, so you could put in- Absolutely. And, and, and look, if your ad gets denied, um, like they don't spend the money, but if you're, if you're thinking that, you know, that 50 K is going to turn into a hundred K you still lost there, you know, even though you didn't lose your direct cash, that advertising never went out. And sometimes mm -hmm. they'll take like days. I've heard of it taking like up to a week on, um, some platforms that, um, before they decide to deny or not. And then once you start getting denied, it can just trickle. And if it shuts down and your whole business is set up on that, well, then you're, you know, then you got to figure things out <laughs> and you're not. In a, in oh yeah. And then, then they started getting AI artificial intelligence to approve the ads and certain keyword words would, would flag it. So we would say, Bill, turn your big book into a six figure business. And they're like, Nope, you yep. can't say that, you know? And, and so then they would deny the ad, but they wouldn't tell you why. They would say you used a word you shouldn't have used. And you're like, well, what word? I can't tell you. It, it was, I felt like I was giving my business away to other people to control it. With IPS, I decide how many calls I want to do. By the way, I do zero. My team does them all. Like, you see what I'm saying? But, or I can cherry pick the ones that I really want. Like, you set your own, you, you've been doing it for years. You set your own pace. You pick your days off you serve there's no high pressure um and then leads just come in yeah and it really it almost is a situation where i don't even view it as sales calls because no. it's kind of like there's partnership calls and then there's get to know you calls and that's really what i call it. that's all there is and i think the big thing too is um like once people realize like what this like fully is and the capability of it Sometimes, you know, you go from one side of like contraction, right? So it's like, okay, I only have so many options. What do I do? Like, I, I'm, I'm unsure. And then you go to the complete other side and there's so many options. And that's how I think me and you see marketing. It's limitless. Yeah. 
And when it's limitless, it can be overwhelming. For instance, like, where do you want to grow your social media following? Well, there's a hundred social medias. So that's, it's kind yeah. of hard to decide. Yeah. But with this, it's limitless, but it's targeted in its limitlessness. If that, I think you obviously know what I mean. And that's what I love about it is you truly can pick like one direct lane with this to build partnerships. And it would take you like a team of thousands to actually get to the, and I think maybe a bit like to get to the limit of what you're capable of. It's just people haven't thought about it in this way before. So and not only that, the steps in IPS are so ridiculously simple that before you get on the get to know you call, I, I this is a weird analogy, but hang with me. You heard me say it before. It's easier to kiss when someone's leaning in. <laughs> right. so in other words a lot of ads are like you're leaning into the person and they're like i don't even know you <laughs> when you when you do ips they're leaning in they're like like, like this has happened josh josh has been doing calls and, and they say oh yeah we we've seen you everywhere like we've heard about you we know what you do we've seen your testimonials we've seen and then there's like zero we call it friction free Mm -hmm. friction free selling and they're leaning in already and that's why you're saying there's no close there's no sales call so it is ridiculous i think that it's going to be the way of the future because now that we're in a pandemic or close to a post pandemic people are done they're, they're just like done with all the uh you know behind the curtain you know all the salesy stuff and they just they just want you to be authentic and i think you've realized that ips lets you be you and it lets me be me 100 percent. i think that is one of the things that the pandemic has kind of done is i think for a lot of people it put the importance of things in perspective right so now it kind of comes to like if somebody sees a facebook ad and then there's like a two hour webinar after that i i feel like that decision with time and just with everything that's happened, it's, it's a way harder thing to get somebody to do. Oh yeah. So, it's, oh yeah. Yeah. It's like, what are those leads even worth at that point? So, and what's so interesting about this too, is you can't even predict all of the positive like benefits, right? Because you're building all these partnerships and like, I've had occasions where I built a partnership with somebody like two years ago and then I get a client from them and then it just starts like going up and up. And then we end up doing a business together. And like, um, yes. if you remember we spoke, um, I think I told you the story. There was one time where I literally had six different uh, publishers, PR types of people that referred me the same person, right? So it's, it's kind of like, it, do you think you're getting that sale? Like the only way you're not getting that sale is if you literally just like don't show up to the call. Like multiple. in other words, in other words, these six different people all said, you need to talk to Tyler because he offers exactly yeah. what you need. And, and the person, again, you hear, you hear someone say it twice and you're like, okay, I should talk with that guy. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth. And then your product, Tyler, is one that's highly sought after. So now you basically say, it works, I'll guarantee it. But if you don't want it, three other people are going to be in line for, and now they're suddenly here, here. You know what it does? It's Dan Sullivan's book. You become the buyer, not the seller. Yes. The everyone else out there is, Oh, let me sell you. Let me sell you. What Tyler just did with IPS is he said, I become the buyer. And that's what you want. Nike is the buyer. Like Nike basically has the pick of any athlete they want. And now they're like, okay, Tell us why we should pick you, LeBron. You know what I'm saying? Like it switches the formula and that's what Disney, same way. Disney can have any animator in the world. They're the buyer now. And that's what we want for the people watching this. They want, we want them to be at such a spot where, where people are like, Carrie, I got to publish with your company. Like I saw what you did for Amy, please work with me. And you're like, okay, <laughs> all right. No, I understand. And that's one of the things I think is your brilliance is like, you're able to take concepts and like really boil it down in that way. Like you're the buyer 
Because for me, I, I'll, I think I, sometimes I feel like I do things, but I don't actually know what I'm doing all the time. And then when me and you connected and yeah. kind of like, I knew the process I was doing, but I didn't fully see it at the macro. And yeah. you were like, whoa, man, like, hold up, look at what this is. <laughs> And then right. we came together and I was like, yeah. whoa, every business can run on this. Yeah. No matter how small or big, it can start your business or it can like 10X your business, whatever the situation you're at is.